Hello, friends. Ashley, go get on your call and then I'll give them to you. Okay? So we just got in the mail these cute little, no, you're not gonna be able to see it. Let's see if maybe you can see it down here better. These cute little glasses. This is actually a four pack of blue light glasses for the computer. Abby here um, has been complaining of headaches and we realized it was kind of my fault because I know it's a problem. I have blue light protectant in my glasses already. I get mine from Costco. But I just didn't think about it for the kids and it's slowly making a problem for Abby. And so I bought a four pack of these glasses from Amazon and they're blue light protectants and they were $2.50 each. <laughs> so, you know, I was just gonna buy her a pair but I realized they were selling one pair for $12 or four pair for $10. Might as well get four and have each one of them wear a pair. Abby got, so it was a four pack, so it was four different colors. Abby got clear ones. She wanted the pink ones, but we need to be able to share with everyone. So she gave, yeah, she just took the clear ones and then Ashley will have the pink ones. I wanna show you um, Chelsea because she literally looks like that little bookworm, you know that character? There's like a book or I don't know if it was like on Reading Rainbow from the back end of the day, but it, she literally looks like a bookworm. And it is the cutest thing ever. Hers are like cheetah print. <laughs> and then Kaylee got a pair of black ones. They're super, super cute. But Ashley has 10 more minutes on a call and then I'll have her try on her pink ones. And then I'll show you Chelsea's. And then I'm running to the bank. I have a pretty important check to go and get written. <laughs> and I don't have checks. We have to pay for something pretty big. But the guy's like, hey, can you send me a check? And I was like, I uh, don't have a check. <laughs> I don't have a check. And I was like, can I Venmo you? Or PayPal? Or some other way of paying you? No, he's kind of old school. So, gotta go to the bank, but banks aren't open in the, in the you know, lobbies. So I have to like make an appointment to go and get a cashier's check. <laughs> so, let's wait until Ashley gets off of her call and then I'll show you her and Chelsea's glasses. They're really, really cute. Doesn't she look stinking cute? They're, they're technically like adult or bigger kid glasses. Yeah. I might order a pack of little kid ones. For Chelsea and me. Yeah, and then Abby and Kaylee can have these two of the bigger ones. But <laughs> it'll cover your eyes. It'll make sure all of your eye is protected mm -hmm. and it's still kind of cute. So yeah, I can take them off. Yeah, you can take them off now if you're not on the computer. We have to talk about recess and if you're gonna go out to play, correct? Yeah. I have to wait a second until she's gone. You guys, I had Among Us downloaded on my phone for all of 25 minutes when we suddenly forgot to get on a call. I was so annoyed it to Ashley and I said, you have exactly five minutes before your next call. Either you set yourself a timer or you sit by your computer, you know when to get on your call. Like we're not out of routine here. She came in five minutes after the call ended, freaking out that she missed her call. Still on the phone with Among Us. <laughs> like, this is why I don't get apps that are popular. And I don't have video games, we don't play PlayStation or Xbox or anything. Like we don't do that here in our home. And this is why. Because you can become addicted to them and you forget your responsibilities. And it drives me insane. So now she doesn't get to play Among Us for the rest of the day. Lesson learned, I should say and I can't take away recess time because I don't take away recess time. I don't take away lunch time. They need to get outside. They need to go play. My other kids have Among Us, but I've told them if their schoolwork starts to become a problem, if they're not getting on their calls, even my 15 year old, they all know if this becomes a problem, that app and any other games get deleted because school is more important and family is more important because Ashley and I had a, ma she had a major meltdown over it and relationships are more important than apps. I'll just say it, they'll get deleted. And she has it on my phone because her her iPad that I got from a friend is so old that it can't support any new apps. And I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it that it doesn't support any new apps. Totally fine. Totally fine. It doesn't even support YouTube. It doesn't even support YouTube. I literally told her this is the only thing you can search for in the internet search bar is YouTube. When I tell you, you can get on your iPad. That's how much I love old iPads now. I kind of want to continue getting old iPads from people so that they can't load anything onto it. She's literally the bookworm. <laughs> Ashley, since the pink goes with her cheeks. I know, but the bookworm red. wears a black pair. Put them on again. Put them. I have a strawberry. 
<laughs> You're a strawberry. Okay, Chelsea, put them on again. It's just a cheetah. <laughs> I just think they're so cute. I just they're think they're fine. so cute. Just, they're they're cute. And also they're like. And they'll work good. Yeah. So let me know in a couple days. Maybe it, we'll give it a week and we'll see if we have headaches at night. She's Chelsea is starting to get headaches at night too. A lot. Right, Chelsea? Yeah. Yeah. She comes down most nights and gets ibuprofen or something to get away a headache, right? Okay, well, you're going out to play? Yep. Well, you gotta change out of your cozies. <laughs> well, I mean, I have this on. I you're not wearing your pajama pants. These? Those are pajamas. <laughs> They're pajamas. Anything else? <gasps> For her to say she doesn't have any clothes is absolutely ridiculous. Cause she has more than me, and I even have yes. a lot of clothes. And Ashley has a lot of clothes. And it's bigger than mine, so basically she has a lot of clothes. Yes, she does. I'm sitting in my perch right here, monitoring everything. <laughs> I have to go to the bank, but I'm just waiting for everyone to kind of get where they're going to go next and assign this and that to them, and then I can go. So I'm putting on my Hawaiian shoes. You guys, do you guys remember my, my Hawaiian shoes? I'm doing my Hawaiian vibes via my shoes today. He won't answer. Hi, this is Jason. Thanks for calling. He never answers his phone. I was going to call and tell him at the same time I told you guys. Helps to know people. I came to the bank to get that cashier's check, which I'll tell you all the finagling for that in just a second. But I needed to get a cashier's check. And the lady at the bank here, um, she was like, okay, it's going to be a $10 charge. I'm like, oh, more fees and more money. And all of a sudden, this guy that I know who works here, one of the business um, loan officers, he is a fellow YouTuber, and we've mentioned him a few times before. He's trying to start his own, he has a YouTube channel. He was right behind me and we had been talking, and so then when he heard that I needed to pay a $10 fee to get this cashier check, and he's like, oh no, no, she gets that waived. <laughs> so he went around and he waved it for me. So that was really, really helpful. So we just rebooked our Maui trip. It's really not a shocker, because this is what we talk about, so I don't need to do like a whole separate video about it. We are going next year for one of our kids breaks. We ended up having to pay more money. I was really frustrated with the guy that we are renting a unit from. We booked it through Verbo, but then ended up having to cancel it for Verbo so we can get our fee money back, but then he hung on to our money. Long story, back and forth, he was refusing to give even a refund, and then he was refusing to let us even book beyond 2020. And now we're to the point where he can book us into 2021, but he would not give us our rates that we previously paid for, which really sucks. And we've gone back and forth many times. We've even threatened him with our Amex um, concierge that Jason has for his American Express card. We had someone contact him from that company to kind of threaten a refund and that didn't work. And so in order for us to even get the money we have paid, we ended up having to pay more per night for the nine nights we currently paid for already. And so when we got to that point, <laughs> Jason's like, how much is it gonna cost to add a couple more nights? And luckily the three nights that we added ended up being cheaper, almost the same price that we paid before because it was like days after their kids break, if that makes sense, or right before. So we are actually going for 12 days. <laughs> so excited. This is the longest we've ever gone before, but the advantage we have is virtual school. So I've told my kids, especially my older kids, that if they have a quiz or a test the two days before the end of school, before break, they need to wake up at six o'clock in the morning, Hawaii time, once we get there and log into their classes, as many as they can, and take that quiz or that test or turning in a home homework assignment. And they've agreed to that because they realize how long we get to stay there and it, there's advantages to this whole virtual thing. I'm not gonna make them do a whole week of school. I'm actually not even making them do a whole day of school. I'm just getting them to do last minute homework last minute tests and quizzes. I'm not even gonna make my younger kids log on. I don't know, I might. Depends on what they're doing that week. They might have some kind of an end of week um, celebration or something before break. And so they might get on one or two calls themselves, but then we are free sailing. And that's what I was doing in the bank today because the guy that we had to pay back, pay extra for these 
the nightly rate and the extra three days that we pay for wouldn't accept anything but a check. And I don't have checks. Like I don't, I don't. I literally don't have a physical check anymore. I don't, it's been six or seven years since I've had a physical check in my possession. So I had to come down and Jason had to get cash and I had to get cash and we had to bundle it together and <laughs> get this cashier's check. And now I can go mail it to him. And I'm sending a cute picture of our family with it just to let him know that like this is worth it for us for you to like not be a douchebag sometimes <laughs> and you know let people pay for what they paid for or use what they paid for anyway my little rant for the day so I'm gonna run to the post office and mail this check to him and pay for our vacation our flights are booked that is a huge story in and of itself. It took us two different days. The first day I tried, I got sick and our, we were hungry and we were stressed and we were crabby. So we gave up and so we tried again the next night and ended up working and we have, we still get to use a hundred dollar credit per ticket clear until 2020, the end of 2021, November of 2021, because we didn't use all of our airline credits, which is making me even happier. So it's only $100 per ticket, like I said, and I'm in traffic, hang on. Anyway, we, we ended up having $100 coupon or a credit per plane ticket that we didn't end up using. So Jason's like, where can we go for $100? I'm like, nowhere. You literally can't go anywhere for $100. So we'll just save that and use that at another time. But it was nice to know that we didn't use up all of our credits, which is wonderful. It'll help us another time. Okay. Also, a windstorm kind of came through, and oh, look at all our barren trees now. We don't have any leaves left on them. Well, some of them do. We got some color going on right there. I got suckered into uh, Hallmark movies. <laughs> Alexa, off! I don't know what I just watched. I have no idea, I remember. I don't remember what they were called. I'm having my second one though, because it's not quite dinner time. I am making breakfast for dinner. I've got bacon. <laughs> Ashley just got home from playing. All the kids wanted to come in to play because they are gonna play Among Us. Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. Hang on. All right, so I'm going to make eggs for dinner. Eggs and bacon is a family favorite for most of us. Abby will probably have a cheese tortilla. She doesn't like eggs. I have one more batch in. Hopefully the smoke alarm doesn't go off again. But now <laughs> I have a, a text string with all the other moms of the kids in the neighborhood and they were kind of, so we kind of wanted the kids to come home early or go to garages when it got dark because it gets dark at 4.30, before 4.30 now. So he had been talking this afternoon about, you know, where the kids were gonna go at 4.30, because it's a little early for them to come inside. So we had been going back and forth, and they were gonna go somewhere different. And then just now, one of the parents was like, all the kids said that they wanna go back home individually and play Among Us, instead of playing together outside. And they were like, does anyone else know what they're talking about? So three other parents were like, I don't know what my kids are talking about. Does anyone else know? <laughs> I was like, welcome to the game of addicting apps. <laughs> Alexa off. All the kids are gonna become addicted to Among Us. Welcome to our world. Ashley's over there. Should I show them? Like, she's home alone. Came home without Chelsea because she's playing Among Us. But someone still has homework to finish. Correct? Yeah. I hope we don't have a new, a new addict. Oh, it's hot in here. A new game that we're gonna get addicted to and stop doing our homework and schoolwork. Are you here to play Among Us? No, I'm here to be Oh, you're cool. wet. Oh my crap, why did you walk in across my carpet like that, girl? It's fine. No, it's not. I mean, You're walking straight to the shower. I know. Chelsea. What? Tiptoe. It's all over your feet. But it's worse on my tip. Okay, go get in the shower. And this is why the kids are trying to find other things for themselves to do while it's rainy and cold and dark so early in the afternoon, but they can't play inside their homes. Like we're still trying, oh, <laughs> there's Jason. This is how my, like this is how the afternoon goes. It all happens at the same time. Should we talk to Jason really quick? Hey Jay, put it on speaker. Are you on your way home? Okay, I'm on my way home. Okay, we're making eggs and bacon and toast. Ooh, that sounds good. Everybody have a good day at school? Yep. We are now all playing Among Us. The other kids are downloading the apps. <laughs> so, we're already having mild problems with some kids not getting their homework done. 
I and not getting on calls because they're playing the game. I know. We're going to do better tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, we are. I'll see you Okay, bye. So some kids are extra motivated to get their chores done to play the game. Alexa, set 22 minute timer. 22 minutes, starting now. All right, you guys, I'm going to end this video. It is not going to be a pretty scene when I take this makeup off. I'm already sweaty and gross. Oh, look at that shine. Look at that natural beauty shine right there. <laughs> sweaty and gross from cleaning the kitchen after dinner. The kids are literally, you saw, under the table, sitting in my chair, playing among us, and I guarantee you, Kaylee and Abby are probably playing upstairs, and their friends are playing at their houses. I know it'll burn away, and they won't want to play anymore, so. Right now, it's just something fun for them to do, and it's dark and rainy and gross outside. So, but I had to set that timer because Ashley has to get some of her homework done tonight so that she's not behind again. So, I'm gonna call it a night and go to clean up for bedtime. And Jason, you're, uh, in, you're in charge of that timer for the kids. Then what do I do? You tell Ashley to do her Lexia time, and oh, the battery's flashing. Lexia time, and then you can help her with her writing assignment. Okay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to help Ashley with her writing assignment. I should maybe see if Abby wants to help her one of these weeks. Because they're progressive. They, they fold onto each other every single day. And so, anyway, we've already talked about this before. I'm going to go shower. You guys take care. Let me know in the comments below what, kids, what games your kids are addicted to playing, or if they're playing Among Us, or if you were playing Among Us as an adult. I'm curious if you guys even know what Among Us is. <laughs> the new rage. So take care and we'll see you guys next time. Good night.